Hi guys, and welcome back to The Science of Awesome. Today, we're going to be talking about life cycle. The cycle of life! As you may have guessed, every living organism has a life cycle. Whether you're a plant, an animal, an amoeba. But that's way too much for just one video, so today, let's just talk about plants. This is a seed. A small little seed. Think of it like a little plant baby that's just getting ready to start its life anew. And inside this seed, we have a little bit of a little plant that comes out. We call this process germination. Eventually, the seed will grow bigger. And we will see some of it will come out above the top. And then we'll go down and we will have roots. Roots that go into the ground that collect water and other nutrients for the, our little baby plant. We call this stage the seedling sage. Almost like youngling but just with the word seed instead of the word young. Eventually, our seed will come out of the ground. It'll get larger and stronger. Eventually, some small leaves may come out of the seed. We call this the young plant because it's not old, can't drive yet, not ready for retirement. And finally here, we have our adult plant, or actually our almost adult plant. This plant is missing one thing, and that's a flower. Once it has a flower, a pollinator can take pollen from one plant and take it to another plant and when you have that you have reproduction and where the plant makes more seeds and the process starts all over again. So for our activity this week we're going to be working on that first step. That idea when we have that little bit of green that comes out of the seed until it becomes a little seedling and we call this process germination. So this week we're going to be making germination bags. All right, for this activity, you're gonna need a couple things. The first thing you're going to need some is some beans. Probably about 10 pinto beans will do, but these are just the regular dried beans that you would find at your neighborhood grocery store. You probably have some of these in your uh, pantry right now. Now, the big thing on these ones is they need to be dried, so don't get any ones in the can. They're not gonna work. But these things cost me about a dollar at Kroger. The next thing that you're going to need is one plastic sandwich bag some paper towels, and a roll of tape. Now this is everything that you're going to need to do this activity, that and a little bit of water. So let's just get right to it. The first thing that you're going to have to do is cut your paper towel so that it fits inside of your bag. Now this one right here, I've, I, I, I usually just sort of measure it so that it's gonna be the width of the bag. So I'm gonna cut this in half. so that I have one long paper towel, okay? And then I'm gonna take that paper towel and I'm gonna fold it in half. And this part doesn't seem like it's important, but it's pretty important. And you can see that once it's folded in half, that it is about the size of one paper bag, or one plastic bag. All right, so what you're going to do then is you're gonna take some water and you're going to wet your paper towel and you're just going to wring it out so that there's not a ton of excess water in your paper towel. All right, so now what you want to do is you're going to take your paper towel and you're going to unfold it so that it's flat on top of your plastic bag and you're going to arrange your seeds about one inch apart. And it does help if you pre-soak your seeds the night before, um, but that is not necessary. I've heard that, that that sometimes is a better way of doing it, but to each their own, I always say, in the game of germination. So here we go. The last ones, only 16 little seeds. All right. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper towel and you're going to fold it over. You can see how easily that happened because I folded it earlier. I'm just going to sort of tuck, 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 tuck those seeds around with the paper towel. Okay. And I'm going to place that off to the side a little bit. 
Then I'm going to open my bag. Put my hand inside to make sure that there's lots of space in there. Alright. And I'm going to shimmy shimmy these seeds into this bag oh so carefully. Here we go, a little shimmy 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 in there. Shimmy shimmy. Alright. And I'm slowly pushing it into the bag. Alright, and there we go. A little, little air. Some people actually like to blow it up a lot. Um, I am sort of indifferent on that. Um, but anyway, and so I'm going to go and take the bag now and close it. All right. And now I have my little paper towel germination bag. Then if you want, you can always take some tape. All right, and put it onto a window at your home and then you can go and tape it to the window at your home where it will get heat and then you will have everything you need for germination. All right, so now what you can do is you can start chronicling what you have observed from your germination bag. So what you can do is you might draw a, a, a square here and with your germination bag in there with the 16 seeds and you can write a little thing saying no plant yet. And you do this for every day. Okay, so here's day two. You're gonna draw a little box again. All right, and here is your paper towel with your little seeds. All right, and you're gonna draw those 16 little seeds. All right, and you might also say no plants yet. And you're gonna do this on every day until you see some germination. All right, and then you're gonna start recording what you observe from those germination bags. Now, if you don't have pinto beans, you can try other beans as well, lima beans or apple seeds or whatever kind of seed that you can find, try it out and see if you can make germination happen. So if you like this activity, then like or subscribe to the link below. And every Monday, we're gonna be releasing new videos showing you great science stuff you can do at home. And so until next time, stay awesome.